The launch party of this year's Data Fest, Liverpool's world leading festival of disability and deaf arts, celebrated putting difference on display for the 11th year. A number of enthusiastic speakers were keen to praise the efforts of the festival, including the Arts Council's Julia Keenan, who said Data's international standing makes it a key element in the organisation's 10 year plan. Developing talent, all of you here, and all the next generation, and all the young people coming along. I think it's really significant the Arts Council play a part with key national portfolio organisations, Dada Fest, in making sure that international platform is there for everyone. Patron of Dada Fest, Sir Bert Massey, said that the next frontier of equality was with employers and made the case for businesses to widen their scopes when hiring and said that Dada can use its influence to further this cause. The problem is with most employers, and there's probably a few here tonight, I don't mean to insult them, but what the hell. Um, they employ a tiny part of people's talents. They say, can you type? Right, we'll hire a typist. They don't say, can you also paint watercolour? Can you sing? A very small part of a person's personality is used in employment. And if employers could look further than a very tight definition, they'd see people with a range of talents which those employers are envious of and would love to have that organisation. The main event of this year's festival is the residency in the blue coat of major Dutch exhibition Neat Normal. But Dada's CEO, Ruth Gould, revealed some more exciting highlights to look forward to. We've also got film, music, theatre, workshops with the amazing live programme that will be kicking off on the 17th of August. And thrilled to bits that we're working with the Philharmonic Hall with a an amazing collaboration with Evelyn Glenny on the 18th of August. Um, there will be a one-off performance with Pagoda Chinese Youth Orchestra and Merseyside Signing Choir who have linked up with a deaf school in Shanghai and are going to be performing the Jasmine Flower, which will be signed in English and Chinese. It will be phenomenal, so please get your tickets for that. But what's really important that this festival is rooted and comes from Liverpool. So we're delivering a number of participation projects with different partners, such as an intergenerational storytelling project with Steve Biko Housing, a poetry workshop um, funded by Jackson and Cantor, looking at how legal language needs to be a bit more demystified so it's least, uh, less intimidating for, for people to engage with the legal profession. And there was a special presentation for Shauna Hogan, who performed in Dada Fest in 2003 and is going on to represent Great Britain and Northern Ireland at the Special Olympics. We met a blue lady called Shauna Hogan in 2003 when she performed an Irish dance at the very first Young Dada Fest. She's gone on to really develop herself within dance and also likes to swim. And so we put her into um, an opportunity that she could maybe meet, uh, get some funding to help her career. She's now got a place to study dance at Northern Community College. Her swimming is going to take her to Cuba soon. So she needed some money. So we helped her put an application in and she was chosen and awarded to win £3,000 to help her with her ambitions in that. So really want to give her a big welcome because I'm going to present her with a cheque tonight. So please, show Alice, thank you. Alice, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. What you won't know is that Sean is actually going to represent Great Britain in Puerto Rico in September in the Special Olympics. The Olympics which are very much forgotten. Um, they get no funding so um, this is going to be an absolute boom so we can uh, actually pay a fare to go which is £700. So thank you very much. I'm really pleased that um, Ruth the events compare TV's Mick Scarlett told us how enthused he is about the disability arts scene. Um, I personally think that at the moment the disability arts scene has got to a level of, of quality and excellence where the word disability is almost invalid. Ha ha ha, do you know what I'm doing there? Um, I think that it's actually going to be the next big thing. I think that somewhat 
people from our scene are going to break and become the next celebrity artists. I really do. I, I keep all the plays I see, all the music I hear, all the art I see, all the performances are of such a standard that the the fact that they haven't been seen by the general public. It's not. It's kind of one of those things where, as soon as they get seen, the general public will realise what they've been missing, and, and it is that level of brilliance. So, um, I'm just hoping that I'm one of the ones that gets spotted, <laughs> but probably not because I'm a bit past it. <laughs> this year's Data Fest runs from now until the 2nd of September 2012 at various venues across the city.